Welcome to Community News with Gori. Subcontinental Drift or Subdrift is an open mic series dedicated to providing an international space for creative and artistic expression for performers of South Asian backgrounds. Ultimately, performers and audience members of all backgrounds, types and experience levels are welcome, but the original intention of providing a space for South Asians remains front and center. Subdrift started in Washington DC in 2007 and has since spread to New York City, San Francisco, Chicago and as of 2012 to Boston. They conduct their monthly events in the heart of the city. Foundations TV visited their June event and here are a few fun glimpses of that through our community news with Gori. Their June event featured Irfan Malik, a renowned Pakistani Punjabi poet, as their headlining feature. Before Irfan's feature poetry, they had an incredible lineup of diverse acts, ranging from musicians to comedians to more poets. About 100 people attended the event, showing an incredible display of solidarity and community around South Asian artistic expression in Boston. Are the audience in the back? Hey! Great! So, are you all ready for tonight? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, you are not ready for tonight. Are you all ready for tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Fabulous! So we have so many great, amazing performers lined up for the open mic and an even more incredible, incredible feature. Uh, who actually, we're going to switch things around just a little bit. Instead of having the feature at the end, we're going to have the feature at intermission. So you're going to get a bunch of amazing open mic acts. You're going to get your amazing feature. And then you're going to get some more open mic acts. In between that, you'll hear a little bit more about the space. There'll be an intermission. You can get more kana and food. Uh, you can also do community announcements, and you can mingle with each other. Does that sound good? Yeah! yeah. Fabulous. So y'all, tonight the theme is remembrance, and we're going to keep uh, pulling on and, and refocusing on that theme tonight in a lot of different ways. But first we want to tell you a little bit about the space. How many of you all, this is your first time at a Subdrift event? Wow. Ooh, first timers, fabulous. How many of y'all, this is your first time in this space? Ah, very, very nice, very, very nice. How many of y'all, you're like, I've been here at least twice? I've been here at least three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times, eight times, and it keeps going on. Fabulous. I'm so excited that you all are here. Um, Subdrift is a fabulous, fabulous space for people of all walks of life, but primarily to highlight South Asian narratives and South Asian voices, to come together in this space, be showered with love, and share bits and pieces of their culture and who they are and their identity and their humanity. So, I know, right? Everybody take a deep breath around that one because it's going to be so powerful tonight, y'all. Um, so that's what Subdrift is. Now the Subdrift crew, can we get the Subdrift board to raise their hands, please? We got Adi, we got Sapan, we got Shippa, where's Bhakti behind? Bhakti, there he is. We got, oh, sorry, wrong. Okay, there we go. We got Bhakti over there, too. Um, and these are the people that make Subdrift in Boston happen. So let's give it up for them first. And a little bit about the space. So you are sitting in what's called the EMW Bookstore. Now, you might be thinking, where are the books? The books used to be lined up on here. This was a Chinese language bookstore. They got taken down. There's going to be a lot more renovation coming. But basically, this space here is a beautiful nest for art, technology, and social justice. So as you can see, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about what's up on the walls here. Uh, these are the Artists Against uh, Police Violence exhibit. So we just ask that you please try not to lean up against the actual wall. You know, watch out for the art. Some of the art is hanging, as you can tell. Uh, but do check it out, because it's very, very... Um, it's a very, very important gallery that we have running here this month. So how do you all feel about getting us started? Yeah? Yeah? Fabulous! All right! So we have a couple of rules about the open mic. Uh, five to seven minute max. Please don't go over. It just kind of pushes things further and further. And then we're sitting there like, your first five minutes were good, but now the sixth is making me go, oh, no, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but try to keep it kind of timely. Um, also, what we really, really like and what's really, really important for us is to have all this audience support, right? So y'all have been doing really, really good with the woos. The woos work. But I was actually wondering if we could demonstrate a little bit about the amount of love that we want to see up here. So, 
Just, just if you show of hands, anybody who would like to possibly be a volunteer who's like, you know what, I'm kind of shy about being up on stage, but I'm going to kind of give it a go. Anybody just kind of raise your hand. If there's multiple hands, I'll take it up. Volunteer for what? Second. I'll just, I'll get you. So I can tell you what you're volunteering for. Okay, so I'm going to ask for people who are probably not. Keep, no, keep raising your hands. I saw some hands in there. I saw some hands in there. Some hands in there. Some hands. Okay, fabulous. I'm going to go for this. Person right here, come on up here. Yeah, Y'all, this is Amish. Amish, okay. Amish, is this your first time here? Uh, it's my third time. It's your third time. Is this? Are you? This is your first time performing tonight. Yes. Ooh. Okay. So now, this is what I want you all to do. I want you to say, okay, get ready for this, right? On the count of three, I want you to say, Go, Amish! And start showering Amish with amounts of love that are like huge amounts of love. Okay, ready? On the count of three, go, Amish, and huge amounts of love. Ready? One, two, three, go! Perfect! That's exactly what I want you to do and keep the energy up all night, y'all. So, let's kick it off. Without further ado, I want y'all to give it up for our homie Neil, who also goes by Shape Z. He's going to share some beats with y'all. He's got everything set up back there. You're not going to understand what this man does with his ten digits. It's crazy. Give it up for Shape Z. <laughs> and has a very special place in my heart. Okay, I'm, I'm going to try not to get emotional. Um, okay, and it's also in the theme that we had here today of remembrance. Remembrance. Let's go back to a simpler day, a simpler time, a time free of cares and troubles and responsibility, remembering when we ran around without our clothes, playing hide and seek for hours, and finger painting with our butts instead of our hands. Okay, maybe that was just me, of uh, wrestling each other for hours on our parents' bed, circling each other, primed for action, and just circling one at a time, one after each other, but never really touching each other, like gently testing out the waters of the lake by dipping our toes, but never really diving in. We were still learning each other. Remembrance of when we moved into our first house and finally got our own rooms. I bet you were glad about that because I used to wet my bed and I'm pretty sure I wet yours too. Remembrance of, of simpler times, of secret languages and constructed words no one will ever understand except us like FSOS and Fane House. Things only we shared between us secretly reveling in the fact that when we were together we didn't need any further... Wasn't going to make us cry. <laughs> with a couple of her own. We're going to bring up Suppan and Bunty to come up the stage and grace us with their...
fantastic, y'all. Uh, y'all see the clouds up on stage right now? Cause we're just walking in heaven during that piece. <laughs> Anybody here like grew up listening to that kind of music? Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Um, way to go, y'all. Keep the energy awesome today. Let's keep it going. Let's bring up Cecilia, who's gonna do an a cappella piece. Go, Cecilia. And the wild mountain time flows along the blooming heaven. We go, lassie go, and we'll all go together to big wild mountain time all along the blooming heaven. We go, lassie go. I will build my love a bower near young flowing crystal fountain, and round it I'll put all the flowers from the mountain. We go, lassie go, and we'll all go together to big wild mountain. FYI only, I found in a wet basement on MOM night, comma, a couple spaces after, um, about 9.30 p.m., and I hit my occipital region to the hard floor, comma, SDS there, period. Did not go for CT head to R-O bleed, or stun FX fracture. Um, call me in morning, comma, if I don't answer, tell Sue to check on me in my bedroom, Sue is our neighbor, um, and take to HOSP ER, period. She can enter through garage door, comma, to open it, code is 1, 2, 3, 4, period. Most probably I will be fine, period. Love mom, comma, 6-15, period. I will text you Sue Kimball, tell number. So somehow, my mom thought that it was appropriate at 1.30 a.m. to send me this email. So of course, I'm sleeping at 1.30 a.m. and I'm also doing my pager, so she could have paged me or, or called me. Um, and at 10 o'clock the next morning, I, you know, I was running in the hospital, seeing patients. I, I take out my phone, put on my Gmail as I'm in the elevator, and I happen to see this um, email. At which point, I kind of jump out of the elevator and call my mom. And the conversation kind of ran like this. Ring, ring. Hello, beta. Uh, Mom, are you okay? What the heck happened? I just saw your email. Beta, it's okay. I just slipped. You know, sometimes the floor is a little bit slippery and you didn't call me until this time in the morning. <laughs> well, Mom, I, I didn't expect that you'd like send an email to my Gmail. Are you okay? Where are you? Why are you buzzing? Beta, I'm just driving to the hospital. <laughs> Mom, it's been like eight hours. Why are you driving to the hospital? Are you okay? Like, are you having any headaches, any symptoms, any vision changes, etc.? You know, Beta, I couldn't sleep all night because I was worried that I had a hematoma. My name is Sham. I was in the middle of the I was in the middle of the night. I was in the middle of the night. I the middle of the night. I was in the middle the कुछ शर्माती, कुछ इठलाती सी, चली आ रही थी वो शाम। कुछ शोक, कुछ चंचल सी थी वो शाम। कोयल की कुक सी गूंज रही थी, वो संदेशों भरी शाम। सोलवे साल की, सोलवे साल की, सोलवी ही थी वो शाम। नव योवना की दलहीज पर प्रथम प्रणय को दस्तक देती सी ही थी वो शाम। मेरे ही आंगन में उतर आई थी वो सिंदूरी शाम दबे पांव आकर कानों में प्रथम प्रणय का संदेश दे रही थी वो शाम इट फाउंड इट वेरी बिजनेस लाइक आई सेड इफ यू गिव मी आई हैड ऑल दिस क्वेश्चंस फॉर हिम आई सेड इफ यू गिव यू नो हाउ मेनी हाउ मेनी पोएम्स हैव यू रिटन एंड ही रोट बैक एंड ही सेड बंटी क्वांटिफिकेशन ऑफ आर्ट इज द मीनिंग ओके Apologies, I'm a musician, I'm not a poet. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> I don't know where to start. I, I thought about it, and I thought, how is Irfan important to you as a community? Uh, not to me, because I'd be very selfish if I just talk about myself. Um, 
Irfan, in a way, is doing the things that we're doing here, and he started doing it 30, 40 years ago. Now, Irfan Malik is from Lahore in Pakistan, and he grew up as a, a social activist and a bit of a revolutionary, both in literature and in politics. And at the age of 24, because of his activities, he was forced to move to Sweden as a political refugee, where he learned the Swedish language, started a family, and began to write poetry in Punjabi and Swedish, English, and Urdu. Now, while he was in Sweden, I have to write this list because these are pretty intense books. He translated two books. One was called Fossils and Anthology. My this wraps up Community News with Gori, brought to you with the support of our this sponsors morning, and supporters, uh, Sumati Narayanan, Realta and Remodelers, Kohinoor Collections by Lata Rao, Bollywood Grill of Shrewsbury and Andover, Smitha's Boutique of Burlington, The Art of Living Foundation, New England Shirdi Sai Parivar of Chelmsford, Apna Punjab in Rehobad and Manisha Trivedi's Hena Cafe. Enjoy your summer and do log on to www.thefoundations.tv to read interesting articles by talented community members, watch intriguing interviews of inspiring people, watch local event coverages and get to know more about upcoming community projects and events. And get your tickets for all events all over New England and beyond. This is your favorite TV host, Corey, signing off.